Hey, hello YouTube. This is Ronald speaking. Uh, I'm an animator from Singapore, and it's been a long time since I posted something onto my YouTube channel. So my demo reel is uh, posted one year ago, and my last upload was a uh, 3D animation te uh, test text test that was uh, posted two months ago. And uh, yeah, the channel has pretty much been neglected, and I thought I should revive it because. I have this idea to improve my painting, especially human faces, so I thought I should give myself a challenge to paint um, faces for the next 30 days. So yeah, this, uh, this uh, revival video is uh, for you to hopefully to inspire some of you out there who wants to improve your craft, uh, like myself. Like myself. Uh, yeah, so I, I googled some uh, references to paint and I'm going to dump them onto this channel like before because uh, this channel is very messy, it has uh, some video tests, VR tests, uh, tutorials and uh, these are very dated, but some of them are still relevant like the the rigging tutorial, some of the techniques in uh, some of the rigging tutorials are quite dated but hopefully it's still, uh, still helpful to some of you out there so yeah, that's enough blabbering I shall get started with uh, painting. So yeah, my YouTube channel, my website, you can check out my work, ronald-fong.com. Right, so, haha, painting. So I just named my file today's date, and I'm just gonna narrate my process as I paint, and I'm not gonna spend too long on this, like maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day, to just to keep it consistent. So I'll start with the base shape. I will try to keep talking to keep this video try to have sound in this video also to remind myself what am I painting right so the base layer let me just zoom into my reference a little bit right, just the face will do talk in the shapes, ears now but let's start somewhere Too slow, what am I doing? Right the hair to get darker. Almost five minutes in. some warm tone. 
用这些材料。Some facial features. Mouth area. Oh, there's too much detail. Let me just get the main main blocks. So by, by narrating to myself, whatever I'm doing helps to keep myself in check, not to spend the time on wrong areas. Some nice highlight. Subsurface scattering on the ears. Orange. Some red. Pick from the shirt. Cause I'm lazy. So the key light is uh, is also the back light. It's from here, and I have a little fill, blue fill from the left side. So let me just get a hint of that in. Just like it will do. And face as well. face this is the nose area get the ball of the nose so there's a red tone in my reference so this is the forehead area slightly reddish Reddish, some hair, some stray strands down. Shouldn't get too far into the details. Refine the shape of the head, the hair. a bit less saturated as compared to what we have now so I'm gonna desaturate it. And maybe not too much. I should define more the, the, the sub shapes of the face first before I start drawing the lips. This area 
get some shadows. So this has turned purple here. of bone here under the neck. So try to shit that out. Pull this guy forward. Catch blue light. Define the shape of the, sh the the folds of the top. So there is a shadow here, and some lines to define to suggest the folds. Exercise to, is to practice painting faces so I shouldn't spend too long on the clothes. are the T-zone and the, the, the snout area and the nose and then the cheek so I'll try to and then the, this, this uh, I don't know what you call this the forehead has a sphere here and then there's some kind of indentation so it's time to define those stuff in and do too strong more blue highlight Trying to resist the temptation to go into too much detail. This here, the eye bags. Just to get a bit redder here. Seems to have turned purple, but that's kind of nice. Just gonna leave the purple in. Try to get some blue highlight on the nose. Let me 
some to the place. It's a slight frown. Alright, so this half of it this half of the face is not supposed to be full shadow. So we can bring the lights back in. Eyebrow ridge. Get more highlight here. Get some blue. Or rather, this I don't know what color is this, but it's when the blue light hits that area, it gives this color. So I'm just gonna pick it. And a brow is darker. very tricky, can pay a lot of attention to it, but not too much, in case I get lost. So we have uh, the upper eyelid, the lower eyelid, <laughs> eyes are one of those things, it's when it's, when it's in progress, it looks very demonic. <laughs> so I was just trying to draw some marks for me to identify where, which are the forms to, to drop the highlights and shadows in. spending more time practicing than trying to be faster it's just that I have limited time but I still wanna get good at this so we'll see how this goes <laughs> trying to train myself under some pressure here through the skin and the eyelids cast shadows and get some eye white I'm gonna just copy the eye over as a start I hope that will save me some time when I'm done with this one I've done with this one. Copy it over. Erase the edges. Somewhere here is good. Sitting in the right place.
them to cut up with to cut up with uh, the other eye some painted nose. is um, half open Maybe another five minutes on this. Five minutes on this, at least for five minutes, five to ten minutes more on this, at least for today, because um, we get some rest. So a lot more work coming my way. So nice golden highlight hitting this area of the head and the hair. Brighter, brighter. I used to burn too. Dodge to burn, dodge. Catch 
watching the slight highlight above the lip. Mouth is half closed. She has thick lips. Give it more volume. some volume definition of the lips because the lips are round. So I okay, just some blue highlight as always on the left of the screen. Shadow from the top lip. I think there's some slight bottom lip thingy going on, maybe it's a reflector or something. So the bottom of the lip catches some light. Maybe not as strong as what I've done here. <laughs> but yeah, I've never noticed that this uh, highlight here happens. So something new I learned today from this study. really lacking. <laughs> Let's do something about it. Should be some nice highlight here. The way this is in. Ah, these are so tricky. The shadow.
need to just show you the app. You know, this gets really confusing, which is the makeup, which is uh, the real. Like, there should be some highlight here. It's probably blue, because the light from the left is blue. Yeah, it's like blue tea. I'm slightly painting with uh, anatomy knowledge. <laughs> I should be painting based off uh, studying the photo. That's why I get to not do my most common mistakes from what I think I know. And the shadow doesn't go in. So harsh here. Soften this area out. Lost the light. Come back. Okay, one eye is more fleshed out than the other, so I can work on the other one. Makeup going on here. at least copy this pupil for some time because it should reflect the same way Today is um, the 18th of uh, June, so I'll probably end this series on the 18th of July. Yeah, I shall move on to another topic, but I do really want to paint faces better, because it's uh, always a struggle, and it's just nice to have the ability to paint faces. And it's quite a complex material, skin, the way light passes through, the forms are difficult to get right, blah blah blah, it's quite, uh, I think, if I can paint faces, I think I can paint quite a lot of other things. If I'm painting with uh, understanding, <laughs> I hope I am. So blue, it's looking a little unnatural. Something like this. I think the ears are too big, so let me try. Ah, right, the overall proportion. I think I got into close painting the eyes, gotta adjust the proportion later. Yes. 
stuff to transition. Studio setting, get rid of this arrows that I was trying to draw to remind myself. This area is too wide. Let me use the liquify tool to fix the general proportion. Mouth in general has to be bigger. So I should try to fix that. The ears have to be smaller. Try for a little bit more resemblance. Right, I missed it. The front teeth. Oh, they're pretty much in the shadow, so they should disappear. Kind of. This fold is always tricky. I say how that here. Get rid of it. Just for the peel sake. More 
maintenance. The eyes look a little bit cut and pasted. I <laughs> like it's cut and pasted onto the face. So I think I need to define this the way this how this um, eye socket forms. I like the skull. This transition has to be softer. here has to be slower to softer not slower softer transition actually means a faster read because there's not in fact not as much information there Yes, get stuck the way. Shall try to make it there. Okay. See the hair that comes here. Wow. So heavily hit by the light. That's all the highlights. Here are two highlights. It's really helpful to narrate to myself and of course to uh, you. Just keeps myself in check. the 
shadow here. Bring that back. Sideways nose. The shading on the nose is bad too. Is it very good? So I can fix it here. This brow is too high. got the ear position very very wrong so she looks it's kind of like she's looking straight but then the head angle is not right so it looks a bit weird I'm trying to fix that and my eyes are a little bit too big here the overall neck is kind of flat paint the core shadow of the the cylinder of the neck. This is crazy why should you unfold and fix that. Yeah. Okay. Now to touch up this area. Highlight form paint cylinder which I have entirely lost so the core shadow should be here and get some ring light here some downs light here so this pale yellow is scary get some bit in it's like that in the reference, but it's nicer if it's uh, slightly redder. This is where the neck ends. This is where the helmet falls in. This is where the shirt actually hangs further from the neck.
Okie dokie, almost there. It's quite fun actually. Some highlight here. More blue highlight here. Fine hair on the skin. This piece here kind of sucks. Form definition, cold shadow, cast shadow, soften, transition, soften. Lost the shadow here. Some bounce light from below hitting the lip and under the nose. Flip the canvas and she looks all wonky. <laughs> this always happens. Just trying to fix this from this angle. Push this here, lift this up. Strange eyebrow pin, which I never noticed. The mouth sits quite well now. She has some weird thing going on here. Here too. Push this cheek in, pull this cheek out, balance out the face. Ever so slightly. Something strange going on here. Let me try to fix it. Yeah. This uh, transition to the hair looks very weird. So just uh, slightly more paint. Burn area. No stray hair streaks. Brighter than this. Thinner than this. Straight ones, straight ones. And the dark ones. This piece is actually a collarbone. Try to paint that in. So there will also be a collarbone here. Which sits like this. But I have to show. 
actually through the fabric. So. spend another month on fabric and folds. <laughs> really bad at this. a good start to the series I guess and I'll save this out and upload it onto my YouTube channel and we'll see it there ha 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 yeah okay I will do my next one tomorrow bye bye good night <laughs>